Good morning, this is Hiro Matsuda, and today we are going to prune these pines. But before I start, let me talk a little bit about how to gauge the health of a plant. This one and this one here, you see a lot of browning. I'm not too concerned at this point uh, about the health because it's not the tip. Now, I think I've talked in the past that if your tip is damaged, you got a little bit of a problem on your hand. If you look at this guy, you see all the very healthy looking candles. It's uh, kind of large, white, and actually very thick. Well, this one is in very good health. So if you compare this color to this one here, you can see that this is a little bit lighter. Of course, this one is a red pine, so they tend to be slightly lighter green, but this is in need of feeding again. Well, I bet you're thinking, why aren't these trimmed a little bit tighter? Okay, I live in zone nine and we have a very hot summer. So what I have to do is to prune quite heavily in the fall or in the early spring and let it go through the summer with a lot of foliage so we don't burn the trunk. So the pruning is somewhat regional. When I was in Los Angeles area, when I learned how to do the pines, we did most of the heavy pruning in spring. But having moved back here to Northern California with our summers that go 100, 110 degrees, somewhat normally, we have to prune differently or rather prune it so that you have the foliage to protect the trunk. Okay, now it's been a couple hours. You see what's been taken off. Then let's see. Actually, a red pine, and it's actually almost been restyled. I took off a lot of things that was there. This too is a red pine, and as we pan to the right, this is the black, and it's very healthy because I, I found that it rooted in the ground. This black pine was so healthy looking, mainly because it was rooted in the ground. And as we look to the next one, which is taller, that's also a black. Oh, this last three, one is a red, and then in the back is a scotch pine, and a black. Okay, so this is what I did this morning. And this is just the start. I know a lot of you are looking at this and says, why can't he be a little neater? Well, it's mainly because of time. Today's the first day that I start this pine series and I have at least a hundred of bigger pines to do. So if I sit here and try to make everyone perfect, I'll never get done. So anyway, this is Hiro Matsuda saying goodbye, and I'll see you again real soon, especially if you're interested in pine, because I have to do so many more, I'll probably shoot more. So keep checking my uh, YouTube site, Master Yo Bonsai, and please subscribe. And also tell your friends.